Hey everyone, this is Mike with Jetamin, and in this quick video we'll learn how to bind an input field to a list, and particularly a field to a table in our example. Let's get started. Typically, the general rule is that we bind something to a list, we go into the settings of the dependent component. So if we bind a, an input field to the list, to the table, we'll have to go into the settings of this input field to set the linkage or to set the binding. So go here and as this is an individual value, we find this value section here and there are two ways here. I can uh, choose the easy way. It's just a basic uh, binding with a limited functionality. So I'll show this. And we also have this kind of um, binding model that allows you to do lots of advanced stuff. So I'll start with this one. Click here and we have once again the list. We choose the design project and we right away want to uh, pick the field that we want to fetch. That's as easy as it is. Okay, so I want to fetch the name. Here it is. Okay, so I click here and it automatically kind of pushes the value from the selected row. Remember, for the individual fields, we need two constraints. First, the row, we need to pinpoint the row, and then we need to pinpoint the field. So we're pinpointing the row by clicking it or checking it, and then we've specified which field exactly from a selected row we want to uh, fetch into this UI, uh, into the input field. And now we can, uh, we can use this advanced binding modal to show you how it's done through this model, okay? So we click here or we click the, this uh, little F sign here, depending on whether it's selected or not. So, and here we have all the, pretty much we have the, our entire app laid out in front of us uh, where we can access pretty much any dynamic value, any token, user, team tokens, uh, anything like it. And we can even transform data as it's being fetched or as, as it pretty much moves from one place into this, uh, in our case, text field. But in our case, that's, uh, we have a very basic uh, use case. We have our list. So once again, we'll have to find our list here. It's going to be typically on top. Uh, we can click right away into it, or we can find here uh, kind of the granularly choose the category or the tab here. Uh, we'll need other components. And this is our list. We click into it. Once again, we're pinpointing the row by uh, checking this built-in fun function or clicking into this function, selected row and we choose our field, in our case, that's name. And that pretty much will yield the same result here. So we've successfully binded our table to this input field. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Have a great one, bye.